I'm going to give an overview now of how to download the app, set up an account, and then set up the P2P um, configuration so we can actually view our hybrid four ch eight channel DVRs uh, over a network uh, from uh, our smartphone, basically anywhere in the world. So it's a very, very straightforward process. So step one here is we need to download the app f um, onto our phone. So there's two ways we can do this. We can pull it directly off the screen. Um, so if we went to the network section of the screen, there's actually QR codes we can scan. And if we had QR code scanning app on our phone, we can just pull it up either for iOS or Android and the app would be put on the phone, okay? So uh, what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna do a slightly different method here. We're gonna go to the app store because it's an iPhone I have here. And we come along and I've typed in uh, XVR. I've chosen the pro option here and I click download or in this case open. Now normally what I do at this point is, so that's part one out of the way, we have the app on our phone. Part two is I come along and I want to configure this and set up an account for myself. So I would just come along and click on register new account. But what I've done is I'm quite clever and I've set up an account for myself already. And I'm just going to password here. And I'm doing this just to save time in terms of the video, keeping it as short as possible. You'll just have to be asked to create a username, um, a password, and then you can add multiple devices once you have an account set up for yourself, okay? So what I'll do here is I'm gonna come along and I will go into devices. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a device here. So a connected device. And the device I'm gonna go for is, I'm in the video room here, so I'll call it, um, uh, video and back. You can't leave any spaces here in the name and I'm just going to call it video 4 or actually I'll call it video 8 because there's an 8 way DVR for my video room and I'll just come along here and I'll set the channels to 8 whoops 8 and what I want to do now is I want to just come along and I want to bring up QR code scanner and what we want to do if we look up here, we can see we're in scanning mode here, and I want to get the remote access code here. And the reason that this is so significant is it's completely unique to this DVR. So I can save this here now, and the device has been added. And if I go back out here now, and we'll say I go in here and I go start preview, I actually put it down here now. What it's doing is it's going through the P2P connection. So it's saying from our phone over to the server that's mapping back over onto the DVR itself. So it's sending a direct link over there. So it's looking for it now, it's saying connected successfully. And now the camera behind on that DVR is live. And I'll just put my hand over it. You can see there's a slight time delay. Picture resolution, that's all this super. So that's just basically it. And the app just kicked out there. But um, what do you call it? If I log just back in here, I'm just gonna do this for a quick thing here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can just log back in and I can pull the device back up again. So I could actually just go into devices um, in here and start preview again. And start preview again and just bring the whole thing back up. So um, overall, we'll say uh, it's just really, really good in terms of the straightforward steps in it. And it's literally that quick from taking it out, scanning it in, all the rest of it. Now, one thing I didn't show, but I do want to mention is that we actually have the DVR uh, behind us, uh, obviously connected onto the internet, because the DVR has to be online for you to be able to go and get it. But that's such a, um, you know, that, that's such a, a default setting on it that it's obviously uh, the way it'll always be, that you need to have your DVR online to be able to view it online uh, from some, somewhere else from your smartphone, etc. So uh, it, this is exactly the same process for the four and the eight channel one on it. So the picture resolution and all the rest of it. Now we have other videos in the series going to cover it here, but this is the main one people are always going to. And I think it'll uh, reassure people that they can see very, very quick, easy process.